Welcome you back to First back Energy to Stadium guys. here on the lakefront in Cleveland. Oh, it's on us. It's on us. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense it's gets set us. to take over. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Yes. He's got yes. Jack Doyle. The pass. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. He'll look to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. He's back to throw. Flushed out right. Taking in by the tight end door. Nine yards, down. not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. They'll try to run for the first with Taylor, and he gets this one across midfield for the first down to the 46. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You still got time, yeah. but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. Oh my God. The pass. He was looking that time to get it to Paris Campbell. And that'll bring up second down. Grant Delson. Back to throw. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he just falls short down at the one yard line. A huge play that time for the Colts. 45 yards. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And he's a kid's touchdown, and it's likely the game. This is again. Charges.
Day. Yeah. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And they finally get him down, but not before he reaches the 34. Complete. A big play there for Indy. 41 yards. Oh, he's got him in wide open, complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. And they get seven. Well, a throw for Pittman is intercepted. P.J. Williams with a pick. this offense gets set to take over. Yeah. This well up field across the 45. 23 yards of the play. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there and it's second down. Intended for Paris Campbell. Incomplete. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Let's go. Cool. And this is going to be caught. The pass. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 38-yard line. And the ball is complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. They'll get that one to Taylor complete. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. And he's going to work this one down to about the five. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Brings up second. Now Taylor. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. Jonathan, no gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A five yard. The offense set to take the field here as they have the football in the final minute of this first quarter. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. So the football will be at the 25 yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Now a throw right side, take it in here to start this drive. Tend to start the drive out and by a few inches. That'll be a first down. And for the third time here, this half it's intercepted. Oh, with the pick. He's had a fantastic. So back to live action. Let's see what this offense can do here on this play. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. The toss here completed to Pittman. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. Stop. He'll get this one to Pittman. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? And in the run-up to this championship game, so much was made about yeah, how would go, this offense hold up go, go, on the road go. in a hostile environment? Well, that's not the definitive answer, but what a great first answer from them. That big play right there. <laughs> a hit as he throws there, incomplete. Harris Campbell. 
incomplete. And all the way down inside the five to the four. 75 yards receiving for him now. It's a first down. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Derwin James with a pick. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. 10. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a Charger TD. Two minutes to play in the second quarter. The offense gets ready to take over. First play of the drive there is incomplete. The pass. I hate to say it, Charles, but the way that he has played in this first half, you just kind of hold your breath every time he drops back to pass. Yeah, you might be holding your breath with those guys on the defensive side. Oh, and as here as he's taken down. Joey Bosa in there to take him down on what will take us to the two-minute warning. Fifteen-yard loss. A reminder, as we've done all year, we'll send you to Orlando for our EA Sports Halftime Report in a bit. The coach is with us, per usual, as we start to look ahead to the potential matchups in this year's Super Bowl. Break it down, coach. Break it down. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and 10. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He'll find a man over the middle. It's Pittman. And he's going to have a first down, and they get into field goal range here at the 29. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time, and a first down. This goes out right to Doyle. Work that and he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. And my goodness, another interception. Derwin James with a pick. And he will bring it out past the 20-yard line. So the offense set to take the field here. They will have the football with less than a minute to go in the first half. Flush to his right. Out to the right and complete to Pittman. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards. and moves the sticks. They'll throw now on the final play. Campbell making the catch. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. So we are halfway. Yeah, who has time for a halftime show with a trip to the Super Bowl on the line? This offense ready to get back out there as they'll have the football to start the third quarter. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Left side, Doyle with it. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Fresh out of the locker room, they hit him with a gain of over 20. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. Looking for Campbell downfield. No way. That's it away, and it falls down incomplete. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little. And now here's another oh. interception. Oh. Put by Kenneth Murray. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a Charger TD.
Now following the touchdown, he comes his offense back out onto the field as they will take over with a first and ten. Looking for Michael Pittman that time, but it'll be second down. Now, deep ball going to be caught here near midfield, and he's brought down after a very nice game. Now, on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Middle of the field to the tight end, Doyle. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 17 yards on the play as they try to eat into this 17-point deficit. Over oh, the middle, taken in. And inside the 20 before it's brought down. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. And on that last play there, he's over 400 yards passing now. You know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> that, and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very accurate. The ball's getting to the right place. Guys are making yardage after the catch to help you out that way. I mean, the whole team has picked it up. And don't forget, that means the offensive line has had to pass protect pretty well, too. Everyone dialed in. They'll continue. And he's got his target. It's caught for a Colts touchdown. touchdown. Jack Doyle. <laughs> <laughs> After an excellent punt, this offense in a tough spot down inside their own five. And a throw over the middle, and he's got it to start the drive. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And he's caught Michael Pittman with it. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. Complete to Michael Pittman. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Complete to number 14. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. The Colts, first down. Back to throw again. That's complete to Jonathan Taylor out of the backfield. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Brings up second and two. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. That'll put him over 100 receiving yards now in this AFC title game. It's a first down. Eluding the pressure right. He's got Jack Doyle. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. 21. They'll look to throw again. Forced out to his left. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Brings up second and four. On second down, it's Taylor. And he takes it in for a cold score. Taking it in from four yards. <laughs> So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. What? My goodness, another interception. Good uh, by DJ Reed. DJ Reed. Uh, so the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Start to the drive here as that's caught out on the left side. 23 yards, the final tally. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. That'll throw downfield is taken in by his running back. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Throwing right in that's 
complete. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 11 more yards that go around. A first down as well. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. Michael Pittman Jr. Incomplete. From the 21, it's second and 10. 21-yard line. Escaping the pressure right. His throw comes out of the fire. And he takes one. this one in We're for a Colts touchdown. We're not done. We're not done, dude. So following the fumble, this offense will get another shot at it as they quickly head back onto the field. Taken in by the tight end, Doyle. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. A gain of six there on first. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. Four yards to go. Got an open man. That's Campbell. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And give him six yards here as he's stopped near the 35 at the 34. Now the Colts moving quickly here in the hurry-up offense. They run once more with Taylor. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. First down now, but the clock continues to move. First and 10, Taylor now. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set on second down now. It's Taylor. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Tackled by Kenneth Murray. He'll look to throw. Buying time to his left. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Jerry Tiller in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. The right side here, complete. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. First down, Colts. Back to throw. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. So now we're in the final minute of the game in the fourth quarter as this offense gets ready to take over. Rolling to his right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And this one is incomplete. And we have free football overtime. Here we go, my friend. Overtime at a playoff game. Awesome setup. Remember, the rules are the same as they would be in the regular season. That's exactly right, Brandon. Remember, the receiving team, if they score a touchdown, game is over. But if they kick a field goal or don't score, the other team gets a chance to get the football. They get a possession. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. They go back to that well. He's had a great game. Defensively, they haven't been able to stop him. Same thing here in overtime. And sometimes that goes to the pro caller's ego because a lot of times you have so many different plays you want to call. But when you spot a matchup that's working for you or a player that has the hot hand, yeah, you're giving it to them. Yeah. That tells me you're mature as a play caller and it's working for them in overtime. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. And so not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. And a short pickup there down to about the nine. The run only 
got a yard. Here's second and nine. They'll set up to throw. championship they have reached the most hollowed ground in all of sports that means they are the best in their conference what an incredible feeling for this team to go through the entire season and come out on top and now go to the super bowl for the right to be called world champion <laughs> The comeback, though. That comeback, though. Everyone's confident in to the up. Fuck in ears. They've been slipping on me my whole career. into our final game. Not of our Jonathan Taylor is a victory in ninety nine overall. How Shaft went up. Paris Campbell went up. So did Devontae Smith. Okay, he went out. The superstar. Mmm. Everyone's confidence is out, baby. Remember, this is season. Season, Super Bowl, same thing. This might be the best episode on Twitch, on YouTube, that I have ever had. It's Madden NFL football. We have 30 Super minutes. Bowl Set to take the field here as 
as they have the football in the final minute of this first quarter. That's the throw right side is complete here on the first play of the drive. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never let on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scheme the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And second and 10, he'll lift the throw again. Campbell making the catch. Now he will go out right near the 35 yard line. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 35 yard line. Through one quarter, 14 7, our score. Flushed out right. Catch made here by Campbell. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. First down. Left side, Doyle with it. Into the end zone. Touchdown. this offense gets set to take over. The first play of the drive there is incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Complete as well. Intended for Paris Campbell. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. And he makes it all the way down to the 31. With flip down conversion plays, you usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Not Pick up as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. Now this throw caught left side. Touchdown. will take over and they will have the football at their own 20 yard line. They're throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And all the way inside the 35 before he goes out of bounds. A huge play that time for the Colts. 48 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. And incomplete. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. He's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. A gain there of 21 yards. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. At the 12 yard line. They give the Tanner out of the gun. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. His pass caught at the four. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. That's a gain of six. Brings up third and three. are able to convert there on third and two. Colts. First down and goal to go. 
This offense continues to be a hot knife through butter. Three drives, three scores, and knocking on the door again on drive. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. This offense ready to get back out there as they'll have the football to start the third quarter. One complete downfield on the left side. 30, 10, and he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. Harris Cameron. Both offenses have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. And a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. He's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 16 yards right off the bat with a first down. He'll get about four as he's past the 35 to the 38-yard line. Again, it's Taylor. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and again, I feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. The 41-yard line. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. That's complete to Hines out of the backfield. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. Nice job there defensive. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked up by Jordan Whitehead. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. Oh, so the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. And he's throwing on first down and completing it. And he's going to get out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 39 yards, the distance covered on the catch and run. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Offense just continues to reign supreme. Big plays, both sides, back and forth. Tough to keep track of. It certainly is, and I'm over here just marveling at what I'm seeing. It's tough for you, though. You've got to call all these big plays and have all this emotion each time they go at each other. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team defensive tackles because we ask them to just eat up blocks allow other people to make tackles and when he can make a play himself as we just saw there that's a big day now on first down he'll drop to throw it that is caught at the seven and he'll get into the end zone a touchdown have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. Flush to his right. Pressure here, and down he goes. Sack back at about the 43-yard line. The sack is by Janoris Jenkins coming in off the corner. Oh, my goodness. Was that a defensive back that got to him with the pressure? <laughs> look at the former defensive back. You're, you're all smiles up here. Oh, baby, I can hear my smile on that play. Oh, that's good. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. First and 10 at the 30-yard line. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked by Antoine Winfield Jr. The 30, 10, and it's a pick six. He brings it back to the house for Buccaneer TD. So the football will be at the 
25 yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Eluding the pressure right. Now he'll pull. The ball comes out. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36 yard line. So the football will be at the 25 yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Escaping the pressure right. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Campbell. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. And a nice gain of 21 yards. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him. Do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. Four yards, the pickup, first down. That's good. Flushed out right. And he can't find the receiver, and he's brought down. Yeah, Shaquille Barrett the in there to bury him for a loss of 11. The quarterback sacked. Shaquille Barrett. A loss of 11 on the sack. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was looking for Michael Pittman that time. Third down here. Incomplete. He was covered by Antoine Winfield. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he is going to have a coach. First down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. Taylor the ball. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. And this is going to be intercepted. We drop you back in, and the offense gets set to take over. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. That is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. This one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 12 yards there and a first down. And this is going to be intercepted. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers have won the Super Bowl, and they will hoist the Lombardi Trophy to cap an amazing season. Call me the Atlanta Falcons, my gosh. Guys, I'm gonna end my video here. Because I'm gonna say.